Hello and welcome to my video all about how to hand sew a basic catch stitch. This particular catch stitch is extremely simple and easy to do and is particularly suited for hemming thick or heavy fabrics as well as knit fabrics. That's because despite being quite strong it's also relatively loose compared to other hand sewing stitches. So it has a bit of give which allows for stretch. This particular catch stitch I'm going to show you is the most basic type and I personally use it for hemming heavy fabrics and also if I ever need to hem temporarily or I need to baste a hem then I use this stitch. That's because it's quick to do and relatively easy to remove. Here I have a double fold hem that I've already pressed. I'm going to be working from the right side to the left side because I'm right handed. So if you're left handed you'll probably want to go in the opposite direction. I'm using a thicker than normal thread just for display purposes but obviously you will probably want to use a regular hand sewing thread in a colour that matches the fabric. So the first thing you need to do is cut a length of thread and tie a regular knot in one end and feed the other end through a needle. I usually use a piece of thread that's at least four or five times the length of the edge that I want to sew. The first thing I need to do is secure the end of the thread to the hem. So I bring the thread up from the inside of the hem, like so, in order to hide the tail of thread inside the hem. I then do a small stitch on the fold of the hem Tighten until there's just a small loop remaining. Take my needle through that loop and tighten. And that secures the end of the thread just to the hem. I then pick up just a few fibres on the main body of fabric as close to where the thread leaves the hem as possible. It's important to pick up as little of the main body of fabric as you can because these are the stitches that will be visible from the outside of your sewing project. You then move along the hem by between a quarter of an inch and half an inch before doing a little stitch on the hem of the fabric this time. The amount of fabric you pick up on the hem side doesn't really matter as much because these stitches won't be seen from the outside of your sewing project. And then we simply repeat these steps. So we move the same amount along the hem as we did before. Then pick up a small amount of the main body of fabric as close to the fold of the hem as you can get. And then do a stitch on the hem. And then a small stitch on the main body of fabric. And you carry on in this manner all along the hem. How high you make your stitches is personal preference. I personally wouldn't make them much taller than I'm making them here, particularly on finer fabrics. The heavier the fabric, the taller the stitch can be. I've seen people who've made catch stitches very, very shallow by picking up fabric as close to the hem edge as possible on both sides. I would use stitches that are taller and more spaced apart for thicker fabrics and also if you want a bit more give or stretch. Whereas I would use a shorter stitch on finer fabrics or on hems that don't need to stretch. As with all hand sewing stitches, the shorter the distance between the stitches, the stronger the hem or seam will be. When you want to finish stitching, simply end with a stitch on the main body of fabric. Then take the needle through the fold of the hem as close as possible to the last stitch that you made. You tighten the thread until there's just a small loop. Take the needle through the loop and tighten. And then you repeat that again to make a secure knot. And then to hide the tail of thread, you take the needle down into the hem and out of the fabric on the hem side. You then cut off the excess thread and that is your stitching completed. 
And that's it, that's all there is to the catch stitch. As you can see it's a very visible stitch from the inside of the project, but on the outside you can only see very small stitches. These stitches will be barely visible if you use a thread that matches the colour of your fabric. If you're curious about the stitch that I've done on the opposite side of the fabric, that's a very popular variation on the catch stitch called the herringbone stitch and I'll be teaching that in my next video. I really hope this video has been helpful to you and thank you very much for watching.